Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Nice to see you again. Today we've got another light review for you. Strap in, hold on to your seats, prepare for the excitement of yet another light review. Um, the good people over at Higer, Higer, Higer have sent me a, a new light to review. Now I have used Higer products in the past, I've used their cleaning equipment, I've used their lights. Mega Tank here is currently powered by four Higer lights, uh, LED lights, these ones here, which have been doing a fantastic job. So I paid for these out of my pocket. I think these cost about £30 each, they're great, um, they've been working fine for me. But I've got a new one and it's a remote control light from Higger. But I need to think of a way of making this more interesting and exciting. So the difference between this and the cheap ones uh, is this is a full spectrum light. It is remote controlled. It is other things. I thought I'd have dropped them by now. Okay, maybe that didn't introduce as much jeopardy as I thought it would. But we have here the 30 watt HG016 Higger Remote Control LED Aquarium Light. In the box itself, you get the light. So it's quite a wide boy compared to similar in the category. But I quite like that because you get a better spread, I think. So you can see here we've got four lanes of LEDs. It's WRGB, so it's got your reds, greens and blues, but also a white. Um, it looks fairly standard, it's the same as any other light that you see like this, except it's a little bit wider. The other things you get in the box is obviously a plug, a UK plug. Other aquarium manufacturers take note, when you send me a thing, I live in the UK, send me a UK plug. You claim to watch all my videos, every time I make one of these I say, I live in the UK, don't make me use an adapter. So we've got the power cord, we've got batteries, which is always nice and a remote control. So I think the USP for this is it's the remote control rather than having to use an app, which a lot of people don't like. I don't mind using an app, but I get that a lot of people don't like having to use an app to control the light. But there's no buttons on it. When are you going to start putting buttons on lights again? It's an inconvenience to go into an app and use the app to control your light. It's an inconvenience when I inevitably lose the remote control, because I will lose the remote control, but it's a step in the right direction, I guess. So the remote itself has all your main functions. It is fully programmable, customizable, all those good things, but there is not a sausage on the light itself. So in terms of functionality, the main concern you're gonna have is, is it bright? Does it do the right thing? So to contrast, this is my rainbow fish tank. Um, the same lights that I use on Mega Tank I've got on here at the moment, so that's what you see. It does a perfect job. It's a full spectrum light as well. It actually does have some controls on the cable rather than on the light itself. You can set a timer, you can change the intensity, that kind of thing. Um, but it's at its default setting, it works fine in this tank. I'm getting good growth on all the plants. It's a nice bright light. Um, it's customizable in steps, but there are only a few steps. Whereas this one's fully customizable but from the remote. So this is the old light, and we'll switch it over for the new light. That's the new light. So it's definitely a different color. Um, to my eyes, it's brighter. Uh, it's always hard doing light reviews on camera because I'm not sure how much of it comes across on camera, but it's definitely brighter on the default setting. It's a warmer color as well, so the color spectrum is definitely default, it's warmer. Um, the fish colors are picking up a lot better on this light. So I have to give it props for that. It is doing the job as a nice light, aesthetically wise anyway. Um, I've been running this for about a week and um, just testing it out. I had to package it back up again so I could do the unboxing part of this. But I have no complaints in terms of the, the color steps that you've got. The remote is interesting. It's fine, it has a nice bright screen so you can see everything on the screen quite well. Um, and you can see the options that you get there. You can set schedules, daylight and moonlight. So day, moonlight is just blue. I've never been a fan of that. You can have some sunrise, sunset. You can set DIY schedules so you can specifically step up the colors of each of the colors. So you've got the white, the red, the green, and the blue. You can change the intensity on each of those. So customizable wise, it's fairly straightforward and intuitive how to do it. It's got the timer. It's got the crazy weather effects. So there's nighttime. There's some weather. 
I've never met anybody that uses these weather effects other than to show someone they come around and they go, oh, look at this, lightning. Um, and then you can obviously, you can do your sunrise where it starts off like this and gradually through the time that you set, it becomes the color you want and conversely at sunset where it dims off. Um, perfectly happy with how it works. Everything that it does, it does well. You can change, just cycle through the various color options you've got. If you want to get something a bit crazy, um, it's fine. I do like having the ability to, if it doesn't suit you, if you want less blue in it, you can step down the blue fairly easily. Um, you can see it on the screen, stepping down. Um, you can see it in the light itself. But the default for me looks pretty good and I'm quite happy with it. And um, the colour intensity that you get on the screen is a little bit confusing, so I don't know how well that comes across. There's one little box down here covering the intensity, but it's the intensity of the overall light, so you can bring blues down five steps, but it still looks like it's 80% or whatever it is, so you just have to bear that in mind. But at 100% and everything, it looks great. Um, not noticed any additional algae growth running at 100%, but your tank may differ. It depends how it's set up, how deep it is, how big it is, all that kind of stuff. But to me, it's a definite improvement. Now, the light that was on it was, I think, about £32 when I bought it, whereas this one's £50 on Amazon at the moment. So you're paying a little bit more, but you are getting some more features. Are they worth it? <sighs> Only you can decide. Um, I like the light. I'd be happy to pay that little bit extra to get that better quality of light. Um, but I wasn't unhappy with the old one, so take that with a pinch of salt. Um, another good thing about it is it is IP rated. It's IP rated IP67. If you don't know what that means, IP is ingress protection, and the first number is for solids and the second number is for water. So six is as high as it goes for solids. That means it will not let dust in. Seven means it can be submerged in water for a longer period of time. It's quite confusing how that all works, but IP67 means it can survive submerged for a short time, and IP68 means it can survive submerged for a bit longer. You have to go on the manufacturer to see exactly what they tested it for, and I couldn't find that detail, but yeah, it should last. That doesn't mean it's going to last in a power wash or something like that, because I think that's IP65 for spray. Um, but it should last underwater for some time, should you, and which I always do, inevitably drop it in. That's a short time. Still working. Scaring the bejesus out of the fish, but we'll leave it there for a few minutes and see if that works. Well, five minutes, it does that at least. I normally notice quicker than that if I've dropped my light in the tank and it all seems well. Um, there is water inside it pulling, but yeah, the lights all seem to be fine. Good job. So what more can I say about it? Uh, to sum it up very quickly, it's a light and it does what it says on the tin or box and it does it well. So I have no complaints. It's not a high end price to pay for some decent features. I like the ability to step through everything. You've got all the features that you would normally want. It's got the timer, it's got the customization of each of the individual colors. And um, you can set your sunsets, you can do your weather maps and all that kind of stuff. The remote itself, it is fine, it's sturdy. I am the Linus Tech Tips of the aquarium world. I have dropped and kicked and stood on this several times over the last week while I've been testing it. And it stood up pretty well. Um, I haven't lost it yet, but I'm sure I will do, and when I do, that might be a bit more of a problem. When that inevitably happens, it will stick to its default mode. So if you have set a program, it will continue to run that program until you find the remote. And if you haven't set a program, it will run the default for that one. Um, bit of an issue if you do lose it. I don't know how easy it would be to get spares or repairs, but... Yeah, you take your chances with that one. One of the things when I was doing a little bit of research about this is some people had apparently been complaining that the lost connection between the remote and the light and it wasn't always functioning. And they did put a little bit about that in their blurb saying that if you power off one or the other alone, so if you change the batteries in the remote, for instance, it will lose connection. You just have to turn the light off and turn it back on again and it will re-establish that connection. Or vice versa, if you turn the light off, you need to turn batteries out the remote. So as well as running it off the program, I've run it off a, a timer, so I connect it to my Felix system, which sets the timer and cuts the power to that. I haven't noticed it drop out, so it hasn't happened for me. 
I've deliberately taken the batteries out, unplugged it, and it's always come straight back on. So maybe it was an older version or something that did that kind of thing, but so far for me, absolutely fine. Can't complain, I think it's great. Uh, obviously they sent it to me for free, but if it was rubbish, I would tell you it was rubbish, and I'm, I'm quite happy with it. I can only recommend it. Right, if you like that kind of stuff, or anything to do with having a fish room, or any of that kind of jazz, click that subscribe button down below. It'd be really nice to see you on my Friday night live stream, 9pm every Friday in the UK. Um, you can join from anywhere in the world, but 9pm UK time. We do a live stream, talk about anything fishy or any other stuff, just hang out, we do a quiz, give away prizes, all that kind of stuff. Maybe even make this a prize one day. Hope to see you there. Click all the clickable things, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye!